it's using, it's certainly using my feelings for music uh, to match what the eye uh, can see, bring some drama together. Uh, I think that when that happens in the theatre, it's very, very exciting indeed. Uh, uh, an opera, of course, is meant to be seen. It is meant to be looked at. So I'm always assuming those composers, you know, Tchaikovsky, Wagner, Verdi, Mozart, they did mean you to see it, to see something, meaning they must have had images in their head in some way. Puccini's Turandot in the San Francisco Opera House. Set design and costumes, David Hockney. There is a thing called synesthesia uh, that some doctor came to see me about many years ago. He'd seen, uh, he'd seen L'Enfant et les Sortilèges at the Metropolitan Opera, where, you know, I'd used the very strong colours of Matisse, actually, but it did match and fit the music. And, he was really struck by this, and he came to see me in California. Uh, and I did these little tests for him, and he's telling me about this. And I think, well, you know, I just think, uh, well, I can do it this way. I can listen to music and get a lot out of it. It's very vivid. And in all the operas I'd done, to me, music was the first important thing that's why you stage an opera for the music not really for the story it's for the music well it's because the music's good and uh they i'd always attempted to make the eye hear the music and, and you could make the ear see color in a way and do that Rotterdam, autumn 1995. The famous Boymans Museum has invited David Hockney to design an exhibition of his pictures entirely on his own. Before this, however, the town's managers of culture organized a dashund race to please the dog lover Hockney and to introduce the painting star from Hollywood to the awestruck masses. Hockney, in turn, plays his part convincingly. Being loved is important to him, and despite his basic shyness, he is ultimately a seasoned performer. One, two, three, go! Boss. <laughs> ah! Wait a minute, we're... <laughs> Terrific. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> Yeah. Meanwhile, the pictures are being hung in the museum. By the time Hockney arrives, most of the work has been done. But he realizes immediately that the museum staff have not kept strictly to the plan that he sent them. Everything is 40 centimeters too low. Hockney insists that they start again. This one, move or move that one. 
down, I'll take that away, move that one down a bit and this one above it. This piece of paper is the proportion mm -hmm. of the wall and we made a model of the room and carefully placed these. We did a, I did a few versions um, but it's this proportion really it's too low, that's yes. now it down really be about here. For the harmony of them. Yes, yes. This, yeah. this is more harmonious, isn't it? Yes. Harmony is important for you, isn't it? Isn't it for everybody? Uh, <laughs> it is for me, yes, yes. Yeah. Hockney is unrelenting. The museum workers complain a little, but get to work again immediately. They still have a few hours left. Finally, the master is satisfied. This is varnishing day, you know. Those chairs, these white chairs. They're coming. Okay. Yeah. I 50. mean, you could even buy them new. No, ones. we've got them. Uh, but they're in store because now it's winter time, so we 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 just put them up. They're plastic. They're plastic. They're, they're, they're very light. We have uh, 50. So that's and we have this yeah. a row of. This is it's a it's a statement the chair about how to look at something and give it time. I'm recommending you sit look at something, yes, that you don't, it is, a, and it's inviting, it's more yeah. inviting to the person, to the person, yeah. not just, uh, what's the I think? Uh, <laughs> okay. All this is once again a play on space. Just like the so-called completely new paintings Hockney produced at the start of the 90s, and which, using other media, he now wants to expand by at least one line of perspective. Well, originally, this was the painting. Oh, it's two joined together. Um, uh, we photographed it. This is a photograph. We photographed it from a long way back uh, and then I added to the painting by painting on the floor first that and then this illusion is painted on the floor. Uh, this is a picture on an easel. This is tape on the floor behind it. So it's just uh, giving an illusion of a, a box in reverse perspective. Um, and it's printed, of course, in a, it's made, uh, taken on a big 10 by 8 camera. And then, so we get a transparency, 10 by 8 inches. Mm -hmm. And then this is printed on a uh, um, inkjet, laser inkjet printer. That is a computer printer uh, that is not uh, mass printer. This takes about 50 minutes to print it. Uh, but you can print on any kind of surface now, so it makes a difference. So. Uh, this is actually a piece of handmade uh, paper mm -hmm. uh, that you would put watercolour on. And, uh, but the computer is reading things and so the way the colour is put on the paper is through uh, dyes, through jets. And because of the intensity of colour we began with, you can get very intense colour on here. And the point was, I wanted to show the 
photographs of paintings 